Okay, now I want us to look at this question, and this is one of the questions that came out in one of the years. I think it was 2018. So here we are told that the graph that is drawn is the graph of f of x uh, in the interval. Now they are giving us the interval, right? The graph of the inverse is also drawn, so we have f we also have the inverse. So we can see that this one will be our f and this one will be our inverse. Point P is given negative 6 and negative 12. Point R is also given there. Now the first question is, is the inverse of f a function motivate your answer? Is the inverse of f a function that is our a? Now if you look at the graph of f, this is the graph of f. And this is the inverse. Now check. Is this inverse a function? And the answer must be a yes. Why? When you motivate, you can mention that the inverse is going to touch my vertical line only once. Therefore, this inverse here is going to be a, a function. Or you can say the inverse of f is a function because the mapping of the inverse is going to be what? A one to one. That is the answer for a. B, if R, this is point R, right, is the reflection of point P in the line, Y is equal to X now, write the coordinate of R. So point P is known, okay. Now I need to reflect point P along the line which says Y is equal to X. So if you reflect this point along the line, it says y is equal to x. This is a line that is here. And that is the line that says y is equal to x. So if you reflect this point P along this line, what is going to happen? In terms of interchanging x and what? And y. Therefore, the coordinates for r must read as what? Now, as a negative 12 and what? And a negative 6. Because it reflects P along this line, then we have r which will say negative 12 and a negative 6. C. Calculates the value of what? Now, of a. This is the a this they are looking for. That is the A they are looking for. Where is A in the graph of F? Which graph is the graph of F? This is the graph of F. I know the point that lies on the graph of F. It means we go to the equation that was given to us. We were given what? F of X, which is what now? A X squared. What are we going to do here? We are going to substitute a point. Which point are we going to substitute? It must be a point that lies on this graph. It means the point in Faga is the one that says negative 6 and what now? And the negative 12. So instead of y, we are going to substitute what now? A negative 12. But instead of x, we are going to put what now? A negative 6. And here we are going to solve for a. So what is, so this is still negative 12, which is what now? 36a. Then we can divide by 36. We can divide by a 36 so that you can have a value of a which is what now a negative one over three so the value of a is a negative one over three now let's check is this answer correct the answer is negative right oh the answer is correct because you can see that's the inverse so the graph of f is coming from the graph that has a leading coefficient which was what now a negative so this one is done as well now, write the equation of the inverse of f in the form y is equal to. How to write the equation? Now remember, you know what is a. What is a? a is negative 1 over 3. It means your f of x is negative 1 over 3. What now? x squared. This is my f of x. Now how do I write the equation of the inverse? We know that to find the inverse, we replace y with what? With x. And also replace x with what? With y to get this negative 1 over 3 y squared. Now how do I solve here? I can divide by negative 1 over 3 on both sides. And this will give us y squared, which is a negative 3 x. That is what we have by dividing by a negative 1 over 2 on both sides. Now we need to introduce a square root sign. This will be y, which is what now? Plus or minus the square root of what? Of a negative 3x. Now we must be very careful here. 
This is saying plus or minus. But if you look at your inverse, we can see that my inverse has only y values that are what? Are negative and a zero. It means for this inverse that is there, the equation must say negative. You're not going to take the positive one. Negative, the square root of negative 3x. Now, also attach this. This is only possible if x is what? Is less or equal to zero. Why am I saying x is less or equal to zero? Because this is negative. So it means for this to be positive, x can be zero or a negative. So that this here exists. So this is the equation of the inverse. Okay.